last week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we sailed from Hopetown in the Abbey Coast to Marsh Harbour. It was only about seven miles, but it was a beautiful sail. We had a great day. We then went to Maxwell Supermarket, which we got very excited about, and then had a fantastic relaxing evening on board, watching the sun go down and enjoying a sundowner. We didn't just come to Marsh Harbour to stock up on gnocchi and ramen. We came actually to pick up our first guest of the season, our friend E from Charleston, who you may remember from our episodes based in South Carolina. It was the first time she's taken a holiday in almost four years, so we were determined to show a really nice time. So the first thing we did was we turned around, went straight back to Hopetown, and then went to check out the Hopetown Lighthouse. Back at the Hopetown Lighthouse. Yeah, we were here this time last year. It's true, actually. Yeah. Our yearly pilgrimage to the Hopetown Lighthouse. beautiful is this? I think that, I don't know, you only walk like five minutes away from the village and um, you kind of feel like you're all by yourself. It's just so pretty. There seems to be like a semi-permanent community here of expats and people living on their boats and um, it's fun. It's nice to just chill and be part of that community for a while. We're really enjoying it. We love it. I can hear the ocean. Who wants to Instagram? <laughs> together lovingly down the beach. <laughs> How awesome is this? Don't look back. Take me off this lonely track. All my worries of yesterday. I can seem to get away. After giving E a tour of beautiful Hope Town, we stopped by the fuel dock to fill up with some gas and that's when we saw these two manatees. They were just rolling around and playing and giving each other a cuddle and they seemed to be really enjoying the attention from the onlooking crowd. I think they fall into the category of being so ugly they're cute, but they're definitely really fun to watch. We were so wild and free We were just kids in It is piddling down. It's cats and dogs bucketing blah 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 and anyway I thought I would show you one how beautiful it is out here when it is raining hard the rain flattens out um, the waves and you just get this beautiful effect of kind of yeah these kind of like lovely little ripples. Hi. 
Hey. So, when we got here this morning, we had half a tank of water. I racked up that rain catchment system 20 minutes ago. Yeah. We got a full tank of water. Oh, We've got 110 litres of water in in 20 minutes. So that system works brilliantly. Those using the side panels like throw it up on themselves. Yeah. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> and she's off. <laughs> Has she skateboarded before? Because she looks pretty yeah, confident like that. Water. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's just a slightly bit faster. There's like five miles. It's on two. It's on plus No, it's on <laughs> baby mode. First thing to do with this boosted board, once you've turned it on and set the speed to baby speed, is not use it the way I did in front of a group of fairly attractive women. The arrow at the front is the direction forward. <laughs> if you don't look at that and you push forward and you go back, you end up getting thrown into a heap and looking like a spoon. Do you ride regular or poopy? Yes, I ride like that. Okay. So, front foot on the board about there. Sideways. Oh, it's like angle. Sideways, that's it. More, if you can get it sideways more, more like a surfing stance. So front foot there. No, no, forward. That's it. There, one there. One just in front of the back wheels. So just about shoulder width apart. Does that feel slightly comfortable for you? Slightly. And how do I turn it by like the same way you do a snowboard? Have you never been on a skateboard before? No, I've never been on a skateboard before. Powers when he does an 800 point <laughs> yeah, turn. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> so, why exactly did you buy that board, though? Does right. that have any practical purpose? The visual reason is because it's got a seven mile range and it's so small that basically I can get to the shops in like. It does 22 yeah. miles an hour. Yeah. So I can get to Maxwell's, to, you know, which is a good, what, mile and a half away? Do you not need like. Elbow pads and knee pads, I feel like if I came off that, I would do myself some real damage. Uh, I got, yeah, you really should wear protective, personal protective equipment. A really easy helmet, probably. Yeah. I have a helmet. Yeah, I saw it. so much for watching another one of our videos i hope you enjoyed this one as you know we've got our friday episodes which are our travel vids we've got technical tuesday on tuesday and we've now got something on sunday which is our sunday brunch how we cook in a boat galley so make sure you subscribe make sure you click that notification bell give us a thumbs up give us a comment whatever you choose to do also our four social medias down below facebook snapchat twitter and instagram hope to see you next week bye bye